Eagle Eye is now using um, a bronze sort of paint to uh, finish off his uh, 12 foot sculpture and he's going to let this dry for a day and um, tomorrow he will come back with his seal to um, actually sort of give a protective covering to the entire statue and also the bronze. The flying arrow smoke shop. And so they'll be prepared tomorrow to move the statue and place it exactly where they want to place it in front of the Flying Arrow Smoke Shop. Again, on the Puspatok Native American Reservation in Mastic, Long Island, New York. And when we get the whole thing, we will have to move the photo. It come out here, and it will be in the paper. told me to do the sculpture for him. It took me about, it took me about one month to finish the sculpture completely. You know? And it took me three months to repair. Because of uh, the material that I had to get and uh, the lift that I had to do. It weighed about, I say about 3,000 pounds. It weighed about 3,000 pounds. But before, it was much smaller. And uh, maybe that's the way the ancestor wanted to be, the one to be there. But one thing I can say, I thank the Creator, you know, that worked through me for me to be able to do this here. I don't take all the credit for this here. I give thanks to the Creator in heaven to put me on earth to do this for the proof to talk brother of the people. Me, myself, I'm a Muskogee Cherokee. I'm from Georgia. And, uh, my people sit to the center, center of Georgia, uh, down in Muskokie, Houston County. That's where my grandmother comes from. And if you want to go online, you can look for Sarah Hudson, the Hester 1883 on the Hester Road, uh, the Cherokee Road. Uh, my ancestor is uh, Henry B. Hudson and Maria Van Hudson. Uh, my ancestor, my grandfather was white. Yes, they was right. And uh, uh, my Native American met my people in Hampton, Virginia, which were the Cherokee people. And uh, I come from straight down that line, you know? So, uh, and if I don't like it, go see the creator about it. But uh, we all can't help where we come from. And I know a lot of them look up, oh, you're not coming from the right way. Hey, that's just the way it is, you know? I can't help it, I couldn't do nothing about it. I didn't make myself, and uh, neither did y'all. But uh, I just want to give you a look at Miss Professor Moham got a book coming out on my family. We were just out in Twiggs County, and she's doing a book on my family. And we went down there to get the last, last results of it. So the books will be out sometime in uh, around 2016. You know, we, we got to move on this book, and the book will be out. And the book is The Natural Man, uh, uh, Eagle Eye, and the... Uh, off the other is Professor uh, Mohan. You know, so I feel proud of her for helping me get this together and get my family together and uh, do the things she's doing. So she's been comfortable with me and uh, I thank the creator for her too. 
I take that for granted. I take the credit from the Professor Mohan. I thank the creator for giving me the strength and the knowledge to do a big, huge structure like this. And um, uh, so uh, this is the way that this is the way the ball uh, bounces and the cooker crumbles. You know, so I'm very, very proud of her. I'm very, very proud of my work, and I'm proud of what I do, and I like what I do. You know, and. Uh, I hope y'all get a chance to come out here on the reservation. The Poochie Reservation is out in Master. You take the Long Island Railroad and you get off at exit 6 to 8. You get off at exit 6 to 8. And you come down Nipton, N-E-P-T-U-N, Nipton. And you come right into Poochie Lane and that's the reservation. Remember, you take the Long Island Expressway. You get off at exit 6 to 8. You come go south until you see sunrise. You make a left on sunrise. You make it, you see a dairy cream product. You make that right there and you go down to Nipton. You turn left on Nipton and you see, come down, you see Poochie Talk Lane. This is the reservation. And uh, it's a good thing for you, a good thing for y'all to come for you to experience that. Uh, the Native American out in Long Island, because so many people don't know about the Native America out here. You got the Pooch out here, you got the Shedekar, you got the Uncle Chucks, Mark. you got Montauk, you know. You got about four or five uh, reservations out here on the island. So y'all need to come out here and uh, uh, get some ed educate yourself to see what's going on in the world because nobody going to tell you. Travel is education. So you got to already remember that. Travel is education. You got to travel and uh, but they don't put anything in books. So when you travel, you find out things that you really, really didn't know before. So I just want to now to come out here and and see how how the people live, see how everything works, you know, and be very educated, brother. And by the way, they get power out every Labor Day weekend. You come to the power out, and uh, you really will enjoy. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world that you don't know that y'all got the. Uh, you know, just get up and, and you know and go see what's happening. You know, get out in the world and, and uh, find out some of the things that the parents didn't know. You know, or they couldn't see the children because they didn't know themselves. You know, they've been in the world all the time, so and uh, they can't tell you something they didn't know. So if you get a chance, you come out to the Puta Talk Reservation and uh, you see the statue that I'm doing alive. It won't just be on the DVD or YouTube. You can actually see the sculpture and uh, uh, tell everybody you came in and actually see the sculpture in person. Okay?